Level 2. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about um, level two data for trading. So if you've been trading, you probably hear about people talking about, hey, I want to see level two. I want to know what's happening in level two. You're asking yourself, what's the significance of level two? So I want to take a look and explain why level two is important for you as a trader in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so when it comes to level two information on the Weibo platform again that's the platform that i use for trading other platforms might have uh, something else but level two data is pretty much level two data for any particular stock so basically you have people that are uh, they have ask and you have bid so people that are bidding are people that want to buy so they're looking like hey i want to buy this particular stock but i i'm only willing to pay x amount of dollars for uh, for a share and then people that are have the ask they own this they own the stock and they're saying i want to sell it but i'm only willing to sell at a particular price so if you the pressure between the the ask and the bid can determine which direction the price is going up so if the bid are so much lower and than the ask you can see the price of this stock will start probably start going down if the ask is way higher than the bid in terms of percentages you see the price of the stock will start going up so that is something that can actually inform you to decide when you want to get into a particular position or you want to get out of a particular position because when you look at that data you can see what people are asking for and you, or you can see what people are bidding or willing to pay for that particular stock before you can get out so it's very important for you to have an understanding of level two information before you put in a trade and also uh, I look at it I, I mean I have it on my dashboard so each time I'm actually going to trade I'm actually looking at level two what are people uh, bidding and what are people asking so I look at that information before I even put in my personal trade um, level two information is not free on many platforms um, on the Weibo platform I think you have to have a subscription uh, they giving out uh, free level two information to some people I don't know if you qualify i don't know what the criteria are for for you to get free level two information but otherwise you'd have to subscribe to have level two information some people pay uh, as, as much as a hundred dollars a month for level two information that's how important uh, level two information is so i'm going to show you guys how to use that on on the weibo platform so let's jump right in here um on, on desktop and i'm going to show you again here guys well I'm, I'm using the the weibo platform and i'm using the web app in this particular situation uh remember Remember, Weibo has three major platforms or areas where you can trade. So they have the mobile app, which is um, a really good platform as well. They have the web app if you don't want to install anything on your computer. And then they have a desktop app, which you have to download and install on your computer. So you can look at that. So right here, um, if you see I'm moving this around, this is the level two information that you can see how the ads and the bits are coming in. So how do you get to this point? Again, if you want to create a dashboard, you go under trade and then you go to new board and just click on that you'll create a new board and you can put the information that you want on that board so in this case i have this board and then um if i go to under widget i go to stacks and this is where i can actually add uh the level two information here i think the level two information here is active active trade so if you click on active trade and then that would i would bring you to this window here where you can actually start looking at it so um right now um let's just take a deeper look at the level two so you can understand what's going on here so on the left side here uh where you see this is the bid and on the right side this is the ask so bid is in green and the ask is in red so as are people that own the stocks and they're willing to sell at a particular price so again it's like an auction you step in you own you have you have something and you're trying to sell it and people are bidding for that particular thing you have a set price in your head so uh, most auction will be like hey starting a uh, uh, starting bid is two hundred dollars and then somebody on on, on on the bid side will be like hey two hundred and one dollars and then you know if you like it you say no but if you see like and then somebody will come in and say nope uh two hundred and two dollars and the price just keeps going up or down from there so that is how this works so you come in here so let's take for instance again i'm looking at tesla here 
or we can pick any other stock too so we can look at um neo right now if you see people are asking uh for right now it's 49 dollars and 45 cents somebody has two a thousand shares if it's, it's moving so fast uh that you can't even keep track of uh but see what people are bidding and what people are asking so this will kind of guide you to kind of see where your entry point is so let's say on, on the on the bid side here most people were bidding say 48 dollars 48 dollars 48 dollars and you're out here trying to sell at 49 dollars and 45 cents you're probably not going to be able to sell that because nobody is going to buy it because all the bits that are coming in on this side are at 48 and if you're looking to get out of that position you have you don't have a choice but to try to lower that price to get out or if you feel comfortable holding it for the long run that you can hold it but again if you're trading where you want to go in and out of a position um, very very fast you have to be able to make that decision as quicker as possible and looking at level two will guide you to make that, that decision again it'll help you know when to get in and and will help you know exactly when to get out of a particular trade so that is the significance of level two information when it comes to trading again this is not free information if you go on major platforms for trading you have to subscribe or pay to get uh, this information because again I don't know how they collect it but I think it's something that is important they spend money to collect this information and if you think that it guides you to make a better decision to become a better trader uh, definitely something that you can consider subscribing to to it um I know some platforms will probably give you a free trial that you can test it and see. Uh, some people don't really care about level two as well. They just go with their own instincts and look at the charts and that will guide them to trade. But most traders, um, level two information comes in handy, uh, really does help you guide with what you're trading, when to place your trade and when to get out of a trade. So let me know in the comment section, guys, have you used level two information or do you um, use level two information? If not, do you plan on using it? If not, what do you use to kind of guide you to go in and out of trades again guys if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content and also if you're looking to get started with investing guys again Webo is doing a promotion where they're giving you four free stocks if you sign up and deposit a hundred dollars in your account four free stocks i think the value is somewhere between uh eight dollars and sixteen hundred dollars uh, uh per share that they give out so average that i've seen is about twelve dollars so definitely take advantage of these links in the description below when you sign up you get a free stock i get a free stock and that's what helps me continue to put content out like this from you guys and as always guys don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated